All right, it's Fruit by the Six Foot Five. Welcome to the video. You. You. Motherfucker. Sorry, I'm playing. All right, welcome to the video. Damn, I'm sexy. All right, this video today is about, first of all, man, please like, subscribe, all that BS that you don't want to hear. Please do all that. Because I know y'all want to hear more motherfucking content from me, baby. Let's get it. All right. This video is about toxic fucking friends. And I guarantee if you are under the age of 30 right now, you have hella fucking toxic friends. Your boy doesn't. My boy pack his glasses. Do I look sexy with these? Nah, I look all right. Your boy doesn't. I don't have a lot of friends no more. I'm not saying that all my friends were toxic because I had real friendships since I was like 8, 9, 10. And then I had real friendships since high school. Like real motherfuckers. Like we went through some real shit. And then other motherfuckers I just got like high with. You know what I'm saying? But even the high friends that I had were more genuine than y'all's friends right now. And I, that's another video for later. But so having toxic friends, right? If you have toxic friends... First things first, you don't fucking know you have them, okay? Here's what entails a toxic friend. A toxic friend will sit in a room with you. Let's talk Let's talk drugs, man, straight up. Let's talk drugs. Oh, T.O., uh, fucking marijuana isn't a drug. Shut the fuck up. Anything that enhances your goddamn reality, enhances your mind state, is a drug. Coffee is a drug, okay? Caffeine is a drug. So shut the fuck up, zip your lips and listen to me, stupid. All right, talking marijuana, right? So you be, you know, you're getting high with your friends, you know, you do it the first couple times and you're starting to meet new people. And it's like, ah, all right, like I fuck with these people. Like these people are cool. Like, and mind you, disclaimer before I do any of this, I'm not speaking to any one of my friends. These are all examples, okay? Because like I said before, I met some of the realest motherfuckers in my life through marijuana. But I'm going to tell y'all real examples, okay? And I do have people in my life who were toxic that I was smoking weed with, but they know who they are. If you really know me, man, it, my friends, if y'all know me and you're watching this, the ones who really know me, no, I'm not talking about them. If y'all don't fucking know me, then I'm fucking talking about you, motherfucker. So that's enough said. You should know who the fuck you are. I've, if, if you know me, if you know T.O., I'm not talking about you, okay? God damn. The motherfuckers I grew up with, Granby, we were all in the Jeep, the blue Jeep, and the whip. Yeah, I'm not talking about any of y'all, okay? So calm down if you're thinking that. That's, no, that's, I'm not talking about y'all. All right, back to it. A toxic friend so you meeting all these people you're like damn this it's it's cool man I like you know i think i could kick it with this motherfucker because he likes smoking weed i like smoking weed that's cool so you got you gotta start kicking it right you're like 14 15 16 17 start kicking it chilling you know you might you might go out to like get dinner with these people sometimes you know get high as fuck before you know go to movies and shit go uh you know to parties and shit um, but the main thing y'all are doing together is like when you get off like school or some shit Y'all go to one of each other's house and there's like a few other potheads there and y'all are all smoking weed You're there for the reason to get high Okay, y'all didn't hit each other up to just kick it and like sit back watch the game or some shit Y'all hit each other up to smoke fucking weed. Okay, so don't deny that first of all We will do a whole nother video on denialism. Oh my fucking god. Welcome to America but anyway, so you start to kick it with these motherfuckers, right? And then let's just say, you know, you had good grades, you know, you on the team, shit's going good, like, you know, good relationship with your parents and whatnot. And then, you know, a, a few things start to dwindle. Like you ditch class one day because they're like, man, come on, bro. Like, fuck, like, fuck that shit. Like, let's go. And I'm not being the typical, like, don't do drugs, don't do ditch class. No, like, this is real shit. Uh, they'll be like, nah, man, let's, like, just ditch once, dog. Just ditch once. Come on. Like, let's go. Let's go. The, the homie's crib is open. Let's go. Let's, we got a blunt. We already have the sack. Come on, bro. Fucking ditch with us. And you're like, man, fuck it. All right. I'll tell my mom some bullshit. It's the first time ditching. Next week, they convince you again. Like, man, we got the sack, bro. All you got to do is throw five. We got the blunt wrap. Come on, bro. This fool's got hella food at his crib. His mom's gone. Come on. Like, man, all right, fuck it. I'll tell my mom something else. 
Then it happens the same week, right? It happens on that happened on Monday. And now they're asking you to do, do to do it again on Wednesday. So you're like, man, I don't know, man. They're like I already did. So like my mom's kind of catching on. It's like, man, come on, bro. You got one, you got one more excuse. Tell her what's up. But you're like, all right, man. Like these kids are cool. They're not bad kids. We want to just have fun. You know, I only live once. Fuck it. I'm gonna ditch again. You just ditched three times in two weeks, and you never ditched in your entire life. And you don't realize what's going on because you're like experiencing new shit, right? You're experiencing, you're experiencing, like you're growing up. So what starts to happen, bro? You start to ditch twice a week, three times a week. And I'm not a fucking nerd, okay? I missed hella classes, bro. I barely passed high school. I got all A's and B's my freshman year, started smoking weed, D's and F's, straight the fuck up. And that's on me. That's on me. I'm not blaming nobody, but the people around you influence you directly because everyone is so fucking weak nowadays. Nobody has control of their own lives. That's what motherfuckers don't realize. You who are watching this video, you don't have control of your own fucking life, dog. Girl, whatever. So anyways, you start ditching, right? And then, and then you start noticing you're getting bad grades. And then... You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you start to like get attached to like ditching. And then you're just like, man, fuck it. Like, it's cool. It's just crazy. Da, 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 da. But next thing you know, now you can't get into that fucking college. Now you can't get that opportunity. Now your coach is on your motherfucking ass because you come into practice smelling like Kush. And yeah, it's cool. It's like, nah, I'm chill with the security and everything. And you know, if you were cool, like with everybody like I was, it's not a problem. Some people have harder times because they're not cool with everybody so you start to realize and then the the funny thing is, is when you say no to those motherfuckers the fifth or sixth time you're like no bro like i can't do this shit i can't ditch i can't fucking miss x y and z because this they that watch watch their response they're just gonna be like cool it's whatever it's all good da, 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 da. and they're all gonna do that shit again they ain't gonna miss you motherfucker and they're gonna keep doing that shit but what's funny is you're missing them you're just like man you know i'm like i'm letting my friends down da, 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 da. now they're your friends now they're your homies and y'all just smoking weed and it's based around weed it's based around ecstasy it's based around cocaine whatever the fuck the hook drug is that did that shit these are toxic friends here's what a real friend would do you start ditching, you miss a couple classes, you know what I'm saying? Like, a real friend in that crew would be like, yo, yo, T.O., like, you've missed, T.O.'s my nickname. Everyone, everyone who knows me, that's what I'm saying. If you know me as T.O., I'm not talking about you in this video. If you know me as Tyler, I'm probably fucking talking about your ass. So, a real friend in one of those crews is going to be like, yo, T.O., man, you missed a couple classes, dog, like, Fuck the bullshit. Like, we could blaze, like, after after school. You could blaze when class ends. You could blaze when practice ends, dog. And it'll feel better. Because, like, you'll be, like, had a good workout and whatnot. Like, st quit ditching, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have off with these people. So, we all have the same off period. But you don't have the same off period as us, bro. So, stop ditching. That's what a real motherfucker is going to tell you. Okay? The fake motherfuckers are going to be like, come on, man. Ditch, ditch, ditch. Fuck it. Fuck it, I got the password. I'll fucking change your da-da-da-da-da. The real motherfucker's gonna be like, yo, dog, stop fucking ditching. We can blaze after class. We can blaze on the weekends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got the, I got the crib on the weekend, bro. Just save it to the weekend. Let's get it. That's a real motherfucking friend. And as you get older, these motherfuckers are gonna shape your life like no other motherfucker, okay? So you need to watch out. As you get older, what happens when you turn 21 and these motherfuckers have a hold of you? Y'all fucking dog, like, let's, come on, bro. Like, we're staying out till 2 a.m. Like, we're just, we got hella bitches at the crib. Like, we got the, our own crib now. Like, no parents and shit. So you start chilling with these motherfuckers late as fucking night. Next thing you know, you're fucking calling into work the next day. At 21 years old. A grown-ass man. Hey, I, I, man, I'm, I'm super sick today. I can't come into work. Bitch, you're fucking hungover. You're a pussy and you can't get to work because you're hungover. Because no one's a real motherfucker anymore and goes to work hungover. Yo, watch it. Watch out for the toxic fucking friends, okay? What's next? Oh, man, come on, bro. Like, let's go, man. Come on, get in the whip, bro. 
bro, you're drunk. Why, why are you driving? Man, come on, get in the whip. What are you, a bitch? Nah, I ain't no bitch. So you get in the whip with these motherfuckers, you know, everyone's drunk as fuck. Da 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 da. Ha ha, bumping this shit. Bro, pay attention. Going 60 miles an hour, bam. All y'all fucking die. Okay, that's an extreme example to yo, calm down. But that's a real motherfucking example, and that shit happens. Those are toxic friends. A real fucking friend. Is gonna tell you to roll your window down, like, what's up, dog? What's good? Hey, man, get in the whip, man. Hey, bro, you're drunk, bro. Why are you driving right? Bro, what are you, motherfucking bitch? Am I a motherfucking bitch? You a motherfucking bitch. You're the one who's driving drunk right now. You need to get the fuck out of the whip and you need to let me drive or you need to stay the night at my crib or some shit like that. That's what a motherfucking real friend's gonna tell you. Not, yeah, let's go, let's ride. <laughs> and, you know, the. For those of y'all who watch and who've been in the situations with me, where my where we've gotten pulled over and like you've had, had a DUI, you know who you are. I had never meant to be that motherfucker in the whip, having a good time, just being like, yeah, fuck yeah, promoting that shit. And I apologize because I should have been the one. I should have been the one. I should have been the one to be like, yo, pull the fuck over, let's get an Uber. I ain't paying for that shit because I'm broke as... No, I'm, I'm, I'm playing, but I should have been the one. I should have been the one, and I apologize for that. All my homies who have had Deweys with me in the whip, it's happened to me three times with three separate homies in the whip. A lot of my homies have had Deweys, but I've been in the whip three times, and I apologize because I should have been the one. I should have been on your ass. So, yeah, so toxic friends versus real motherfuckers, all right? It's fruit by the six four five. I love y'all. This is the video. That's just a skim. I know I was going off la da 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 da, but you get the gist. Watch out. And if you need to be by your motherfucking self, be by your motherfucking self. Who gives a fuck? I love all my real friends, and my real friends know who the fuck they are. And I will always love y'all. And y'all were never toxic. We had fun together, but we should have held each other more fucking accountable. But then I had other friends who were toxic, who didn't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck about them now. But the motherfuckers who know me as T.O., the mother, let me put it this way. The motherfuckers who know my mom, who know my mom's name and who know my mom relationship wise and who know her. And if my mom would recognize you, I'm not talking about you in this video. If my mom wouldn't recognize you, I'm probably talking about your ass. I ain't talking about no one I live with, none of that. Because my mom would recognize them. My mom would be like, oh, that's Paca. Oh, that's Javante. Oh, that's Ernie, Corey, Nate. That's fucking, ooh, ZB. That's uh, Chris Miller. That's Patrick. That's If my mom would recognize you, I ain't talking about you. But talk to, talk to your friends. Watch out for them. You know what I'm saying? And love yourself, man. Because life is short. All right, it's for about a six foot five. Let's get it. Let's go.